Dr. Dre has released an apology over his treatment of women decades ago, and this was a response to some of the criticisms that he received for the movie uh, that came out uh, straight out of Compton. So years and years ago, decades ago, uh, there were several cases involving him physically assaulting other women. One of those women was a entertainment mm -hmm. journalist by the name of Dee Barnes. And Dee Barnes had said that uh, she was assaulted by him, he had punched her in the face, and also shoved her head against a wall repeatedly. Uh, he was very, very dismissive of the criticism up until now, and I want to read you part of his apology. He says, 25 years ago, I was a young man drinking too much and in over my head with no real structure in my life. However, none of this is an excuse for what I did. I've been married for 19 years, and every day I'm working to be a better man for my family, seeking guidance along the way. I'm doing everything I can so I never resemble that man again. I apologize to the women I've hurt. I deeply regret what I did and know that it has forever impacted all of our lives. Wrote Dr. Dre's publicist. Yeah. yeah Maybe it was, it might have been a nurse. He's totally <laughs> changed. You know what changes you when uh, $4 billion, if you get that, that changes you a lot. It yeah. turns you into a good person, in fact, yeah. and a good father. It does, and I'll explain. So it, to be fair to Dr. Dre, uh, Beats was only sold for $3 billion. Oh, I'm sorry, $3 billion. Of which he apparently got about $800 million. He's saying that he's the first so billionaire. So he's not that good of a person then. Right, okay. <laughs> so now, I thought. Uh, he's, now, the reason that he's doing this now as opposed to earlier is twofold. One, because the movie came out. His album came out first time in 16 years. I like how Anna paused on uh, the movie out. Oh, right, it's straight out of Compton. I don't know why I wanted to say, like, NWA or something. Right. I don't know, it was like... No, no, it's whatever. just funny that Out is in the title of the movie. Okay, yeah. anyway, um, so the second reason he's having to do it is because uh, he's now a businessman, right? And so he has this giant deal with Apple, mm -hmm. and there's a lot of money on the line. Mm -hmm. So now Apple needs him to clean it up. Mm -hmm. And so, so that Apple can then come out with their publicist mm -hmm. statement, say, no, no, it's okay, Dr. Tr Dre is a changed man, we accept the... What he wrote to the New York Times, and let's all continue to make a lot of money together, right? Mm -hmm. And so, and that's how this whole gets whitewashed, yeah. and we all move along. Now, I don't want you to get me wrong. Uh, one, uh, I love Dr. Dre's music. Two, I deeply respect him as a producer and a business person. Okay, um, and and so I'm not biased against Dr. Dre. If anything, I'm biased in favor of Dr. Dre, mm -hmm. right? Uh, but and it's been a long time. And that's also fair, and people do change, yeah. and this might be true, right? Now, that, but that he didn't write that, and yeah. and so if he really had this like awakening where he realized, I, I don't want to be that man anymore, <laughs> like, he might have come out with that two years ago, three years ago, of his own Honestly, volition, mm -hmm. rather than at a moment where it affects his finances a lot. Yeah, right? the timing is very convenient for him, and. In the past, he has been dismissive of the criticism. And so it wasn't until now that people have been on him about it that he finally has decided to make a statement. And I also found it interesting that he apologized, and then right after he apologized, Apple also released their statement about oh, it. Right? Yeah. So it was kind of like, I'm sure Apple pushed him in that direction as well. There's a possibility that he has changed. He hasn't beaten anyone up that we know of over the last few you decades. Know, but we didn't really know of it then because we didn't care. We didn't pay attention. Yeah, uh, yeah, but you know, but the thing is, he's going to release a new rap song that's against uh, being misogynistic. It's going to be a big hit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's not going to happen. And, I mean, exactly. I mean, anyway, go ahead. Look, and he's a, pro a co-producer in the movie. The movie didn't mention, didn't mention any it. of the violence against women or the misogyny in the rap lyrics at all. And I get it. People are going to say, "Well, that's not what the movie is about." But it didn't even gloss over it. Like it, there was yeah, no yeah, mention. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, look there. Okay, now I'm going to sound like a dick, but. If I'm producing a movie about me, am I going to put shitty parts in the uh, about me in the movie? Like you know, there's a movie about me actually, and I didn't produce it. Andrew yeah. did, and he put in some of those parts, and it makes me fucking cringe every time I look at it, right? Right. And so it's not made by some documentarian about Dr. Dre, and then you go, what the fuck? Why didn't you put the bad parts in, right? Right. right? It's made by Dr. Dre, so of course it shows Dr. Dre in a positive light. I don't think that that's uh, surprising. Doesn't mean you shouldn't get on him for the violence. You should, yes. not only because it happened, even if it happened a long time ago, but because he never really came out and said, yeah, that, that wasn't so cool, right? If he's really apologetic, yes, and if he's really changed, like Anna says he says, 
then maybe he would have put that in the movie to show other young men that this isn't how you act. Even if you're a famous rapper, that's not the way you're supposed to act. And you should. Have. But he didn't do any of it that, so it been, shows that it's an empty apology, it right? It would have been a good opportunity for him to address it and say, geez, I, I've changed a lot, and this is what it was, but things are different now. Uh, look, given the timing of it, I am enormously incredulous that there was an all of a sudden an awakening of his heart yes. at this moment. Yes. At the same time, yes. it's his movie. He's not going to put shitty stuff about himself in his movie. Get real, get real, get real.